Man, I just think it's finally time for them to see it. You know, uh, this one was too quick a shoot in my book. We, it, was, yeah. it was great to shoot. Yeah. Uh, Nora's incredible to work with. I'm a very lucky man for having experienced this. And these things take time to get out to the public. We've both seen the movie. We love the movie. The fans we've showed it to love it. And now it's almost time to release to the world. I think for me, that's the most exciting part. Yeah. No, I second that. Yeah. Yikes, it never stops. I know, right? It is a ticking clock. I so, think that's what makes it special. Right, right. I sure. also think it's like one of those hypothetical scenarios we can all put ourselves in. Right. Which will make, uh, hopefully, audience engagement increase. Everybody be like, well, what would I do? So I think that combined with all the comedic action and the ticking yeah. clock, great cast. Hopefully we have something the audience will love on Prime Video. Yeah, and it was, it was so fun to shoot. I mean, I, I think, like these guys are amazing, and I, 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 mean, I can't believe that it's that we're here. Yeah. It's really cool. I think our coordinators did a really good job of playing to our strengths. You, you see a lot of our authentic selves in this, yeah. and that's the action as well, which allowed us to participate a lot. Yeah, it just felt fun. Yeah. Stick around, uh, stick around for the credits, because you can see it oh, all. Yeah. Paul, put, Paul Feig put together an incredible blooper reel that airs, airs after the movie. Mm -hmm. So when the movie's over, it's not over. Make sure to stay for the credits. Hell yeah. Yeah, it was, it was really funny. There's, there's a couple like special people in the cast, too, that people will see. And I, yeah, I can't wait for the world to watch it. I mean, like I've looked up to him for so long, you know, and and it, you 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 almost like want to understand what the catch is, and there is no catch. He's just truly the nicest guy ever, and so collaborative, so funny, and and a really like a genius at comedy. Yeah. Comedy's supposed to be fun, and he uh, embodies that. Yeah. Every day on set is fun, even the long days, even the hard days. Man, he's never short on humor, never short on jokes, and uh, I'm I'm so glad that comedy with him is fun. And you too. <laughs> I'm excited for people to just have a good, fun time. I mean, you know, I like fun movies. That's my bread and butter, what I do. And I do other genres, too, but I always want them to be fun. But this one's especially kind of the big party that I always wanted to make. Yeah, you just hope that audiences have, like, a, a, a tenth of the amount of fun that we had making it. Yeah. And, and Paul just kind of at, at contributed. Like, he sets the best kind of on-site environment. It's so free. It's so great for an actor. You know, we're improvising. He's improvising. He's, you know, writing lines on the fly. Writers are coming in. They're mm -hmm. putting post-it notes sticking into his chest in his suit and, and you like, know that's funny that's funny. yeah no, that's funny you know we shoot like 15 versions of the you know different movies and um it honestly is the it's the best environment for for you know comedians for people you know, anybody just coming in and having a good time i'm only as good as my cast i'm telling you that's all so when they show up and they're ready to, for action and they bring all this creativity it's just fun and it, i always want that to translate to the screen and to the audience so when they told me that i was possibly going to be fighting john cena i was like there's no way in hell you're gonna let a, a stunt guy take that experience away from me. So I was <laughs> like, no, I'm, it's gonna be me. And and John, to his, to his credit too, I mean, he's such a physical man, obviously, right? And um, you know, really threw himself in the rehearsal process as well. So it was just great getting to like know him, and then getting to know how he moves and learning a way around his giant tree trunk of a body. <laughs> like, how would I even begin to fight him in real life? I have no idea. But uh, we had a, we had a great stunt team that made it uh, seem kind of. Uh, plausible. And Seema's an amazing uh, fighter, martial artist, uh, stunt person. I mean, it's crazy. There's nothing oh, There's nothing he can't do. It's annoying. And he does it in a beautiful white you know, suit, I too. Mean. So, And he's handsome. So, I, I really enjoyed doing the very first uh, scene where Nora's uh, getting, <laughs> wanders into the dojo and then mm -hmm. gets into the yoga mom. Such just Just because that's the first moment when she has no idea what's going on. So that's kind of the most Jackie Chan-ish of all the scenes that we did to me. But I love, you know, Everything with this guy. Yeah, yeah. Me? It was a lot of fun. I um, there is a scene where I hope I'm not spoiling anything. Nora, in order to protect herself, she disguises herself using a <laughs> using a machine that like puts a new face on her. And uh, when when I saw it, and I saw I was gonna have to keep a straight face for the whole thing. It was, it was very very difficult. <laughs> we're, we're talking about some of the first of all, you know, the most, most gifted comedy directors of our time. And then you've got two, uh, you know, between Nora and John, like. I think two of the best on-camera improvisers oh I've ever seen and, and worked with, like literally could keep a take going for minutes of just nothing, but at the same time, everything they're saying is so funny and so usable, um, and, and it changes completely different every take and really just forces an actor like me to just stay on, on my toes as well. Um, but yeah, it was, it was tough, a lot of, a lot of uh, corpse yeah. scenes for sure. No, I'm, I'm the worst, I always, I, they have to put my monitors very far from the set because I'm I burst out <laughs> laughing. Like, like, yeah, exactly, but yeah, then I'm happy. It. And I really get happy when the actors break and all that. I love bloopers, first of all, and it just means that they're in the moment and surprising yeah. each other. 
Jackpot is about fast, furious, and fun. And Paul Feig does an amazing job of directing these movies. And my character plays a little bit of villain and a little bit of stupid, so it goes with my look. Uh, <laughs> we did a preparation, you know, for a good fight scene with Mr. John Cena himself. And I just had a great time filming it and can't wait to watch it. Yeah, I mean, Paul, this is my second project with Paul, and it's amazing. Laura and Paul are amazing producers, and I always have a good time, uh, you know, uh, doing projects with them. Listen, comedy, when it comes to comedy, that's the greatest genre on film, because if you could do comedy, you can do any, any other genre. So I think comedians are great, and I think they make the greatest actors. So I can't wait to, you know, continue practicing my craft and getting better at my comedy. And John Cena, Aquafina, Simu, they were so good at... Uh, on set and it was a pleasure just watching them and being uh, able to just perform with them. Well, uh, I'm the guy that gives the big jackpot checks to the winner. So I've been in show business for 25 years and I've just been dying to hold a big check prop like that. And you know, I also did the big uh, flamethrower at the end of the movie. So you know, it's about kindness, money, and stunts. So we all got along great, and you know, Paul is not only is he the best dressed in showbiz, he's the, he's the only Hollywood director without an attitude. So everybody's performances just were elevated because of that. Yeah, we're always trying to make everybody laugh. Uh, John was John Cena was actually the serious one at a couple times because you know all of us other you know improv comics were causing a lot of trouble, and he was like, "Do your lines, yes, sir." No, I don't. I don't. Uh, he, he could bench press me with one finger. Um, I'm excited for people to see John and Aquafina together in the in this like crazy stunts. Like I don't I don't know. I you know I like watching comedies, but this is like there's so many special effects and all this kind of stuff. So showbiz. Well, my my background is in video game design, and when you're designing a game, you're looking for a rule that's going to make fun. And I was working on the game, and suddenly this rule came to me that, hey, what if you win the lottery, but anyone else can get the money if they kill you before sundown? I thought, you know what, I think this could be something more than just the game, it could be something really fun for story. Um, and the rest is history. The, the most amazing thing is when I was writing this, before I even met Paul, I was looking at Spy and looking at Bridesmaids and thinking, well, this is the benchmark we've got to go after. And so, I mean, what an insane turn of events that he's the guy who comes on. Uh, and of course, Cena and Aquafina, world-class talent, world-class dramatists and world-class comedians. So great to have them together. We really took a lot of inspiration from like Jackie Chan and those, those kinds of action movies that were really about the joy of action. Um, and hopefully people feel just as joyful watching it. I think one of the great things about Paul is that he creates a culture of happiness and joy and inclusivity. Um, and all of that joy is really in the capillaries of this movie. And I hope that that's going to transfer into the people that watch it too.